ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Im Tirzu Ezagot Enzo Agada, if you will it, 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 it is not a dream. This is really a dream come true. I'm seriously overwhelmed. I didn't want to come in until it was done. I couldn't do it in the construction phase. I walk in this morning. Wow! <laughs> we have a trip. We have a gym for us, for our kids, for our grandchildren. Phenomenal. The new home of Warriors. It is beautiful. Give it up for I had chills. I never felt so excited about an opening, having to do with the school. It's so beautiful. It brings so much to the school, so much to the community. And I'm really proud of everybody that put it together. And I'm lucky that my kids are going to reap the benefits. Real, honest to goodness, professional floor, stands, scoreboards, you know, the whole thing, and it's just so open and light and exciting. I think this has been a drawing board since my kids were little. My kids have long, long graduated. It became a priority when we had a mass of people that had the same vision. really a very, very special moment for our school and our community. We used to practice outdoors. We even had rainouts, lost practices, plus the heat, the heat and the fatigue factor. We used to share a little pavement with the tennis team, with the soccer team, with the volleyball team, and everyone was just fighting to get a little space. It was really very hard for us to get a group of people to come to the games. The Warriors! That team spirit is not there when you don't have your home gym. There's something to be said to having the home court advantage. What we didn't have, we thought that this is the norm. <laughs> It brings so much spirit, so much ruach, and it makes everyone proud of where they go to school. Everything is a gradual evolution. We hope that we can renovate the rest of the campus. It's not a simple thing. You gotta find place, you gotta have building requirements, you gotta have money. It was a nice design. It fits in well with the neighborhood. They'd spent a lot of time figuring out the parking and everything else. The gym got built, it's open, and this is where the gala is going to be. We had to first acquire the land from the city of Miami Beach, which took many years and extensive negotiations. Uh, we had to get about 25 different permits to construct this building, but our school name is the Warriors, and we have truly lived up to that name. So all those Yashikawa who put all the time, energy, raised the money, and made this thing happen. I almost cried when I walked in. I really did. Remember, I came to this school when I was little, ran with coach outdoors, everything outdoors, to be able to have something like this. It's not only exciting, it's a statement for the Hebrew Academy, for its history and for its future. We do have our roots embedded in this school, and now we have our future here. My kids are here, and hopefully all of the kids in our family will come here too. We're the only Jewish school in all of South Florida that has their own private gym. It's really a blessing. I just think it's a great day for the Hebrew Academy. Wow, it's just very emotional. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> when you care so much about a place, you want something that's good.
you're giving them the tools so they can be successful in the world. I don't even know who to thank first. It's just a team effort and it's a dream come true.